Hello, welcome. Take a moment and try this problem out. Press play and then we'll solve it together. They want to know uh, which of these equations has 1 minus, minus i as a solution. So before, I mean, before you go through each of these equations, which is a really painful process, what you generally want to think about is what is the fastest way to deal with this problem. Many of the Algebra 2 problems are set up in such a way that if you try to go through each choice, it's really painful. Um, so let's just step back and think about what it would mean if 1 minus i is a solution to the equation. Well, if 1 minus i is a solution to the equation where it equals 0, that means it's also a root of the equation. So it's a complex number. And that, when does that happen? Well, we get complex numbers uh, as roots when if we look at our quadratic formula. The only way to get a complex number that I know of here, assuming a, b, and c are real, is when we take the square root of a negative number, right? That's the only way it's going to happen. In other words, if I look at this equation, if I take the square root of a negative number, I could get a complex root. So this value, it's called the discriminant, it's going to be helpful here to us, right? If b squared minus 4ac is negative, if it's less than 0, then we're taking the square root of a negative, and we have complex uh, roots. So when, when will that happen? Well, the only way to get a negative is if, you, if 4ac, the amount you're subtracting from b squared, is more than b squared. So we, or, or yeah, well, that's, 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 it, that's it really, right? Um, if b squared is less than 4ac squared. So if I rewrite this, b squared less than 4ac squared. That's, that's when it's going to happen. Not 4ac squared, 4ac. So if I look at all my cases right here, I've got b and I've got b. b is always either positive or negative, too. So let's go let's look at the first example. If we have b squared, so it's 2 squared, is that less than 4ac? Well, 4 times negative 2 times 1, right? Is this true? No. In the first, this is example 1, choice 1. 4 is actually greater than uh, negative 8, right? In other words, if you took... 4 and then subtracted negative 8, you get 4 plus 8, and that would be positive, right? Here, I'll just show you what I mean. So if it's 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times 1, that's really going to be 4 and then plus 8. And that's 12. It's not negative. It's a positive number. So that's not going to give you a negative square root, so that's gone. And uh, in a similar way, we can cross out this one here as well without even testing it because... Even though we're starting with negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, c itself is negative. And if c is negative, we're going to be adding 4ac, not subtracting it. So it's got to be one of these two choices. So I'm going to start with choice 2. Let's look at choice 2. And we take b squared, so 2 squared. And it has to be less than 4ac. So 4 times 2 times 1. And that is true. 4 is less than 8. And if you're feeling shaky on it, keep going further. Test it out. 2 squared minus 4 times 2 times 1 is 4 minus um, 8, right, which is negative 4. And that will force us to take the square root of a negative number. Whereas in, in choice 4, let's see what happens there. Choice 4, we have negative 2 squared. And that should be less than 4ac. So 4 times a times c, 4 times 1 times 2. Ooh, that's also less than. OK. So I was leaning towards choice 2 there for a moment. But I'm noticing this is also going to be less than, because even though we have negative 2 squared, if we subtract 4ac, that's going to get us what? 4 minus 8 gets us uh, negative 4 as well. So which of these two gets us a positive 1 minus i as a solution? Now I look back at my quadratic formula. Any root that I get or solution to the equation starts off with the opposite of b. So I don't think it's going to be choice 2 because the opposite of b starts off with a negative 2, right? If b is 2, the opposite starts with negative 2 plus or minus, in this case, the square root of negative 4. That's our discriminant. We already solved that over 2 times 1 or 2. I started with a negative value, so I'm going to lean towards choice 4 now. I'm going to write it over here. Actually, no, it's really sloppy. I'll write it down here. 
So we start off with the opposite of b. The b is already negative 2. So the opposite of negative 2 gives us a positive, which is what we want here, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2. And that just equals 2 plus or minus, this is 2i, over 2. Right? The square root of negative 4 is just 2i because the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of negative 1 is i, it's just 2i. And if we divide both parts on top by 2, we get 1 plus or minus i. Whereas here we would have we would get negative in choice two negative two plus or minus two i over two, and that gets me negative one plus or minus i, which is different. So if we go back, that leads us to choice four. So it's kind of an interesting problem, and it might seem like I'm doing lots of work here, but really once you get used to this idea that um, they're asking you which of these has a complex solution you would look at when the discriminant is negative and go from there. If they ask you, if you remember from Algebra 1, when it would have two roots, right, or two solutions, it's when b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then it has two solutions. And then if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, there's one solution. And that's kind of an an algebraic argument, right? If you look at the structure of the quadratic formula, if this piece is 0, you have negative b plus or minus 0. So plus or minus 0 doesn't matter, it's just one thing. And you have negative b essentially over 2a. And that's why you have one solution. If, they're, if it's greater than 0, you have negative b plus some value, minus some value. It gets you two different results or two different solutions, which is why this is true. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, well, then you're dealing with a complex number. All right, I hope that helped.